As you've seen, behavioral state machines show the behavior of some element, such as an object or a class, under specific conditions. You can also model protocol state machines. Rather than modeling an element's behavior, a protocol state machine shows a sequence of states and transitions. So you see a sequence of events and the states caused by those events, but not the element's actual behavior. This means that protocol state machines don't show the element's activities along transitions or inside the state classifier boxes. So you won't find entry, do, or exit activities in a protocol state machine. Also, along the transitions, rather than showing a transition signature that includes trigger, guard, and activity, as you saw in the behavioral state machines, protocol transitions may be labeled as you see here. A precondition in square brackets, event, forward slash, and then post condition in square brackets. And it's up to you whether you want to include the preconditions and post conditions. Also, when you're drawing a protocol state machine, enclose your diagram inside a box, and in the upper left corner, put the name and then protocol inside curly brackets. And this will make clear that the state machine that you're showing is a protocol state machine. Let's take a quick look at an example. This is a protocol st state machine, hi uh, highly oversimplified, for a communication protocol. You can see the series of states, closed, listening, synchronized, received, established, and the transitions between those states. Notice that in this example, we only get the name of each state. We don't get any kind of internal activities, no entry, do, or exit activities. And the transitions also are very simply labeled. So what this represents is a sequence of states and the transitions between those states. So it gives us an idea of an ordered sequence of state changes and the transitions between those states. Notice that protocol state machines are not meant to be implemented, but simply to show a sequence of transitions and states. So protocol state machines are used to model interfaces, and that's what you want to use them for.